My, oh, no, no, this equation. Minus half dt squared. Minus one half g times this one squared, which is v0 sine alpha squared divided by g. Divided by g squared. Of course, there's a g here, you see? So you square the whole thing. It is t squared. You lose one g, and you will find then that the highest point, let's write it down here so that we don't block that blackboard. The highest point in the sky equals v0 sine alpha squared divided by 2g. That is the highest point. Let's give that some color because we may want to keep that. Is it reasonable that that point, that highest point in the sky, gets higher when v0 is higher? Of course. If I shoot it up at a higher speed, of course it will get higher. So it is completely intuitive that v0 is upstairs. If I increase the angle from a small angle to larger and larger and larger, is it reasonable that it will get higher? Of course. You all feel in your stomach that the highest possible value you can get is by you, when you make alpha 90 degrees for a given velocity. That's the highest it will go in the sky. So clearly this is also very pleasing. If you did the experiment on the moon, with the same initial speed it will go much higher. So you're also happy to see that this g here is downstairs. So that makes sense.